up on Destination Tomorrow, we'll discover that playing video games might help people with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder control their behavior. Like video games are just about everywhere. People have them in their homes, on their computers, and even small handheld versions. NASA uses simulators, which are similar to video games, to train and help pilots stay focused while flying a plane. Derived from this research, NASA researchers have incorporated the use of video games to help treat patients with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Linda Beth Burrell explains. Have you ever met someone with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD? Chances are that you have. It is estimated that as many as 6% of all Americans suffer from this problem. Common symptoms of ADHD can include poor attention span, impulsive behavior, and in some cases, hyperactivity. Currently, drug treatment is the most widely used approach to control the unwanted behavior associated with ADHD. But would you believe that playing video games might help people with ADHD control their behavior? Researchers at NASA Langley Research Center and Eastern Virginia Medical School have been conducting research which shows that the use of a specially adapted video game controller in conjunction with something called biofeedback may drastically change the way we treat ADHD. We came up with this idea for a way to treat ADHD in children with our work in flight simulators where we were interested in pilots' attentiveness and how to improve that. We connected their brain waves to the flight simulators so that it affected how much control they had over the flight simulator. We decided that this might have some usefulness in brainwave biofeedback training and we substituted video games for the flight simulator and that brought the element of motivation, the entertainment value into biofeedback training. Biofeedback is a treatment technique that teaches patients to train and control normally involuntary body functions, like brain waves, by using displays of signals from their own bodies. With the aid of a biofeedback machine, patients with ADHD can learn to train the brain waves that are associated with focusing. Patients train these brain waves by increasing the strength of high frequency beta waves and decreasing the strength of low frequency theta waves. Practicing these brainwave changes has been shown to lead to an improved ability to pay attention. These brainwaves can be trained much like an athlete trains his muscles. For example, when a pitcher throws a ball towards home plate, if he is off the mark, then he must adjust his delivery the next time he throws the ball. Biofeedback training works similarly. If a patient's brainwaves are not on target, then the patient must adjust his brainwaves to meet the desired goal. So, just as the pitcher uses his muscles to adjust his delivery, the patient uses his mind to adjust his brain waves. Video games uh, offers the element of motivation. Uh, they make the training, biofeedback training, entertaining for children. Biofeedback training typically is just showing children displays of their brain waves and asking them to control that. What we've done is embedded that in an entertaining, enjoyable activity. This technology works by connecting a child's brain waves to a video game controller. In the NASA EVMS study, several off-the-shelf video games were linked to the biofeedback signal from the patient's brain waves through the handheld controller that guides the game's action. When the game was activated, the patient's brain waves actually became a part of the game. It works like this. While a patient is playing a car racing game, for example, the sensors pick up high-frequency beta waves and low-frequency theta waves from the player's brain. If the biofeedback machine reads a higher percentage of theta waves, it sends a signal to the controller which lowers the top speed that the player's car can reach. To increase its top speed, the player must increase his percentage of beta waves. The player learns through trial and error to produce more beta waves and not limit his car's top speed. With enough training, changes in the patient's brain become automatic and can lead to improved attention and behavior all the time. I would like to see this available to people to be able to bring into their home and enjoy the benefits of biofeedback training through entertaining activities. Home versions of this technology are currently being developed that would incorporate sensors embedded into a helmet to measure players' brain waves. If this technique continues to prove to be effective, one day, kids may actually have a good excuse to play video games.